Hello, this is how to use sheets in Dexury. The first thing you do is back up your saves if you want them backed up. Go into your Dexury folder in the battery folder. Copy the save file for the game you're going to cheat. And then you can copy it anywhere and just save it there. Now the easiest thing to do with this is to look up action replay sheets online and just find ones you like and use them. I'll try this one. Open your game and go to tools, sheets, list, and then click action replay and just paste the code in and then click add and that's all you have to do to use it. When you're adding it, you can also have a description so you don't forget what it does. If the checkbox next to your cheat is checked, that means it's enabled. So click save. And make sure your cheats are enabled. If disable is checked, uncheck that. Assuming you did all of that correctly, your cheat should be working. It's working for me right here. One thing to check when you get cheats is to make sure you have the correct region, otherwise it probably won't work. For the rest of this video, I will be showing how to make custom cheats. So the first thing you do is of course get into the game. Once you're in the game, go to Tools, Cheats, Search. Alternatively, you can press Ctrl S to open this window. You're gonna see something like this. We'll start with a known numerical value, which will be my lives counter. Right now it's at 3, and I see there are two spaces, which means the highest value is 99. And I'll have to check these and see which one is the smallest that can hold that value. In this case, it's one byte. Alternatively, if I wanted to change my score, it shows seven digits, which means I would use three bytes. Choose exact value search, and then click search. Enter the value of what you want to change, and then click search. It will usually come up with a lot of results. That's normal. Just close the window and continue playing the game normally until the variable changes. Here I found a 1-up which will increase my lives by 1. So I'll open up the search menu again. And now I'll put 4 in search. It significantly reduces the number of results. You want to get the number of results down to 1 or as low as possible. But in this case, I know there's only one variable for the lives counter, so I'll keep playing. Now I have another life, so I'll search again. And it comes up with one result. Once you have that, click view, and then add. This will allow you to add a cheat, which changes the variable. I'm gonna set my lives to 99. You have an option to freeze the value. This will make sure the value doesn't change. I'd recommend for almost any case just to leave that check. Here where it says address, if your version of Destiny comes up with anything other than 0x02, like uh, for example 0x00, 0, 0, 0, 01, 0, 03, Anything like that, that means you're using an outdated or unstable version and this won't work because you'll get the wrong codes. We see now with my cheat active, I have 99 lives. Next I'll be showing how to change an unknown variable. So the first thing you do is open the search. If you have a previous search, just click restart. This time I want to change my health and lock it at 
some certain value that I don't know what it is yet. I don't know what the health value is, but I know it probably isn't above 255, so I'll stay with one bite again. And this time I'll do a comparative search. Once you're here, just play the game like normal until the variable changes. I took damage, which means I can now evaluate the comparison. My new value is less than my old value, so I'll search. And I have 1812 results, which means I'll have to do this a few more times. My health is even lower now, I'll search again. I have 153 results, so I'll keep playing. My health is increased now, so I'll check new value is greater than old value, and it reduces it more, so I'll keep going. We've narrowed it down to 5 results, with 3 of them being 63, and 2 being 59. This should be good enough. I want my cheat to give me full health. So I'll play through the game until I have full health again. I'll check back again and I have 76 and 72. I don't know which one I should be locking. So there's two things you can do if you have multiple variables with the same value. The first thing you can do is just add every single one. Once you have them all added, go back to your list. And then double click on each one and copy the AR code at the bottom. You can open up Notepad or any other text editing software and just paste the codes in. Once you have them all, you can go back and select all of those and remove them. Click yes, then copy your new code, go to action replay and paste it in. Once you're done, click save. If you don't save, then everything you've done will disappear. You'll see that it didn't quite work for this game, and that can be expected sometimes. In order to fix this, I'll show you the next method. You can go back to your cheat and remove that if it doesn't work, and then save it. Open your cheat search again and then view add a cheat for the first variable check if it works in this case the very first one worked for me but let's say that i didn't know it was the first one basically i just try each variable until i find one that works correctly now my cheat is working if i want to turn off my cheats I can disable them, or if I just want certain ones disabled, I can turn them off and they'll stop running. And you'll see I can take damage again. Your cheats will be stored in the cheats folder. If for any reason you want to get rid of them, you can do that right here. And to restore your saves, go to your backup folder and just move the save back into the main folder and replace it and it should be working fine that's pretty much all you need to know about using cheats and destiny so thanks for watching bye